Hey friends, it's Shalann Hill. I hope that you're doing well, sending love. Um, ready to do some great yoga for today. So I plan on doing some balancing poses um, for balance in our being, um, from right to left, from front to back, from top to bottom, from inside to outside, just creating balance as a whole. So you may want to have two blankets to sit on at least to start with and also two blocks. Um, we might need them when we're doing our standing postures. So let's get started. Let's gather ourselves to start shedding some stress and getting to center again. So get in a comfortable seated position. You can sit on the floor cross-legged or you can sit in a chair. Or you can have your legs long out in front just to where your spine can be up nice and tall with balanced pelvis. So let's let your hands rest on your thighs. It's up to you whether you turn the palms up or down. Let's drop the shoulders down and pull the elbows close to the body and let them relax. So armpits soft. And let's start some clearing breaths. Inhale through the nose. And exhale blowing out the lips. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, blowing out the lips. And just keep on with those clearing breaths, starting to shed the stresses, the worries. You're blowing out your fears, blowing out pressure and tension. Slow the breath down. Starting to calm your systems. And shifting out of adrenaline mode and getting more into a grounded, centered mode. Or this may be a enlivening of your energy right now if you might have been sluggish or depressed feeling. So whatever this breath is to you right now, just relish it and dive in deep. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, blow out the lips. Start to fill up the lower ribs with the breath in. Take the breath lower into the lungs. Let your inhale be more complete. Let your exhale be more complete. It may feel good to close your eyes or just Look down to the floor in front of you without bowing your head. Whenever it feels right for you, you can start breathing fully through your nose. Line up your spine a little bit better, including the neck. And let your spine be soft. I could not hard and rigid, but let it relax a bit. But feeling a gentle lift, a floating upward of the spine. Let your shoulders drop again, elbows drop again. Soften the hands. Feel your sits bones anchoring to the floor or the support underneath you. Allow your legs to soften. Returning our awareness inward to get more into a receptive listening place. So you might listen with your ears, but we're also listening with our, all of our senses. Tuning in to what's really going on within you, within this body where there is pain, 
where there is freedom, where there is life flowing, where there is stagnation. And whatever you find in this physical body, with your awareness that you just get okay with it, make peace with it. Allow a greater acceptance of what is. We're also tuning in to your emotional state. We're checking in to see what's really happening there in your current moment. Is there an undercurrent of emotion that you haven't been paying attention to? Or have there been really strong, dynamic emotions right in your face? Whatever you find right now, acknowledge what's there. And doing your best to get okay with it. It's a greater acceptance of what is, make peace with what is. Then tune your awareness to your heart space, so the center of your chest the very middle part of your being. And just imagine that you can tune into the light of your heart. So your spiritual heart, your soul heart, your heart light, your love center. So you're tuning into love that resides within you. You can imagine a beautiful ball of light right in the center of your chest, any color that pleases you. Let's just breathe that when we inhale, that ball of light grows or gets brighter. When we exhale, You just focus right in the very pinpoint of light, very in the center, center of your chest and heart space. We inhale, the light grows bigger and brighter. We exhale, focus on the very concentrated point at the center of your heart. So you're allowing that love that's always within you, even when you can't feel it, even when you're distracted, it's always there. And we're allowing it to grow and let it start to spread throughout the whole body now. That light of your heart, the love of your heart expands and pours down your arms goes down into your belly and your pelvis, through your legs and your feet. You breathe in and that light rises up into your head. Now you're feeling your whole being growing bigger and brighter. So your aura, your spirit, your soul, the light of your being growing bigger and brighter so that your energy field gets even bigger, expanding outside of this body. You're encircled in a beautiful chamber of light, bubble of light. When you exhale, you're then returning that focus right to the center point in the middle of your heart. Feeling your expansion 
of your being and then returning to the depth of your heart. And your light expands in all directions from your center point. It grows even bigger to fill up the room you're in. You're even bigger with this inhale to surround the building you're in. And let the light of your being expand. This bubble of light expands out to encircle the town you're in. And everybody that is encircled with this light of love feels it, at least on some level. And then expand even further this bubble of light and love to encircle the state that you live in. And every single living being that is surrounded in that light feels it on some level. And then expand to the country that you live in. Everybody encircled in this bubble of light and love feels it on some level, receiving this love that is emanating from your center point of your heart. And then this light, this love expands even further to surround the whole earth, the whole globe and every single living being on the planet feels this love, feels this light. And then envision in your mind's eye that you're out in outer space and you can see Mother Earth down below. Do you see that picture of that beautiful blue planet? And you pour light and love down into the planet itself. And Gaia, Mother Earth, feels that love and light and receives it. And what a powerful thing when you share your love, your light. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's bring your awareness back to your body, back to your skin. And deepen your breath. And wiggle your fingers. And switch your feet if you've been sitting cross-legged. And start to roll your shoulders backward. Deep breaths. And then slow that down and make bigger circles. Engaging more of the muscles that surround the shoulder girdle. Then one shoulder at a time rolls back. Let's get the ribs and the spine moving. Okay, let's relax that and lean back into your hands. Hands right under the shoulders and lift the heart up to the sky. You can either drop your chin to your chest or you can lift your chin up toward the sky. 
or let your neck settle to its most happy place and lift the chest up even higher. Squeeze the shoulder blades together a little more. Fill up the front ribs. Another good breath. And let the heart drop. And sitting up. And we'll inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, chin drops to your chest. Let the back of the neck open. Shoulders down. Start to sway your head side to side, keeping the chin down. So we're allowing the chin to swing as close to the shoulders as they want to. As it wants to. Now we're moving in this semicircle here in the front half of the direction that the head can go. And so we'll continue to move in that semicircle and we'll drop the ears to the shoulders now. Chin still rolls to the chest and then ear to shoulder, chin to the chest and then other ear to other shoulder. Keep the shoulders down, keep breathing with conscious awareness. Allowing the sides of the neck to open, tops of the shoulders and the upper traps and the back of the neck and upper back. Next time your chin comes to your chest, we'll stay there. Inhaling your head up. Exhaling. And let's straighten the legs out and rock them out well. Give them a break. Clear the joints there. Some good clearing breaths might feel good. Circle the ankles out well. And other way. Come to, come to tabletop. On your hands and knees. If you need cushion under your knees, please give it to yourself. And bring the index fingers to face straight forward. Spread your fingertips wide. Hands straight down from the shoulders, knees straight down from the hip joints, tops of the feet to the ground. And we'll inhale, head and hips lift. Exhale, head and hips drop into your cat and cow. Strong breath through your nose if possible. Let's get the biggest range of motion in your spine that you can. So we're swaying our back with our inhale, lifting your head. We're arching our spine up to the sky with the exhale, dropping the head. When you lift your head, pull your shoulders back to really open the front heart, making good space around the collarbones. The exhale, push your shoulders down towards your hands to spread your back heart and squeeze your belly up to the spine. And just keep moving with your breath. Let's do one more. Neutral spine. Dig the pads of the toes into the ground. We'll step our hands forward one hand length. Spread the fingers wide. Claw the floor, the pads of the fingers at the tips, and then the base of the fingers at the knuckles there. So shoulders back, belly in, and then push up and back into a down dog and walk your dog out. So bend one knee as you straighten your other. Solid breath. Let your head come between your arms, so let your head drop down. Maybe good clearing breaths might feel good. Let's push your right heel down, right leg straight, left knee bent. Center your chest and push your chest back towards your legs a little bit more to straighten out your spine and your arms. Take a good breath in, great breath out. 
switch legs, left heel pushes down, left leg straight, right knee bent, send to your chest and push your chest back towards your legs more, your hands are pushing forward, your chest pushes back, hips push back. Okay, let's bend your knees a lot. Stick your butt way up into the sky. Lots of length in your upper body and slowly straighten your legs. Pushing your heels toward the ground as best you can. Now widen those shoulder blades. Get your upper back flat and bring your neck to neutral with the rest of the spine. Take a good breath in. Great breath out. Bend your knees and walk your feet forward to your hands and take a ragdoll fold. So... You can bend your knees a little if you like. Let your spine hang down, head hangs down. So this is a stretch for your spine right now. So we're just letting gravity take hold of it. So this is not so much as a hamstring stretch as a spinal stretch. So arms dangle, or you can grab your elbows here with your hands and just let your spine and arms and head drop down. Deep breaths. You can sway your spine side to side here if it feels good. And then let's come to center. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's bend your knees a lot. Drop your butt. Lift your head. So head is higher than your hips now if possible, and keep your knees um, even so that they're not knocking together, they're not spreading out wider, they're, all the full legs are parallel with each other. Tailbone drops, belly lifts, so we're taking the weight out of the hands. Low chair pose, take a good breath. And we're also getting our body acclimated to the head being up higher so, so that we don't get dizzy. And when you're ready, we'll inhale, push hard into your feet, spread your arms wide and up, look up. <sighs> inhale, lift up, palms together. Lift your knees, lift your belly, tailbone points down. Inhale, reach up. <sighs> and then let your hands drop to the heart space and relax. Good breath in. Good breath out. Down, elbows down, just relax. Big breath. Okay, so feet parallel and hip distance apart. And when I say hip distance, I don't mean the outer edges of the hips. I mean we're lining up center of the hip joints with the center of the knee joints with the center of the ankle joints where the outside edges of the feet are parallel with each other. Okay, so we'll inhale, arms wide and up. Lift your kneecaps, lift your belly. Exhale, arms wide and down. Inhale, arms wide and up. Lift the knees, lift the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, wide and down. And when we expand our arms, really reach out through the fingertips so the arms get active. So it's not floaty arms, we're really getting strong. And then exhale, wide and down. Now when you go wide and up, squeeze your, arm, your shoulder blades together. And we're pulling back and down. And back and up. And back and down. We lift the, the head when we lift the arms and we release the chin to level when we drop the arms. So we're really engaging our back now. And our shoulders. And still anchoring solid into the legs. Lift the kneecaps. Engage your front thighs. And again. And hands to the heart space. Palms together. Just rest. A couple of good breaths. Feeling your feet underneath you. Softening your body. Unclenching. Inhale your arms wide and up. Let's grab your right wrist over your head and pull up and then over to the left to standing side bend. So push your hips to the right just a little bit. Keep your legs strong and keep pulling to the left. Good breaths. 
push into your feet. Push into your feet hard and inhale, lift up. Exhale, widen down. Inhale, arms widen up. Grab your left wrist. Lift up to the sky and then pull over to the right. Push your hips to the left a little bit, really anchoring the feet well. You want to keep the hips stacked and even, shoulders stacked and even, facing forward. Good, solid breaths. Take another big breath. Push into the feet hard to lift the spine with your inhale. Exhale, widen down. Roll your shoulders up and back several times. All right, clasp your hands behind you. Let your thumbs touch your sacrum and stand strong and tall, pelvis aligned. Pull the shoulders and opening the front chest as you breathe deeply. Ground through your feet well, lifting the kneecaps gently, lifting the belly, the pubic bone, tailbone drops. Maybe pull the head slightly back so we don't want to jut our chin forward and stress our neck out. Good breath in, great breath out, and slowly release. And in front of you, one hand grabs the other one, so think of like you're going to dive here. And let's reach your arms out in front. Now tuck your tailbone, round your back, keep your shoulders right on top of your pelvis here. Round your back and reach forward. Really stretch your back well. Good breath. Keep your knees bent a little bit. Take another breath, and then drop your arms, standing up. Let's do an awkward clasp of your hands behind you, so other index finger in front. Thumbs touch your sacrum, stand strong into your legs, align your pelvis, lift your spine, and pull your shoulders and elbows back. Engaging the upper back between the shoulder blades, widening your collarbones, slightly pull the head back. And releasing. And then see if you can remember which hand. Grab the other one. So let the, grab the other fingers again. Reach the arms forward. Round your back. Keep the shoulders on top of the hips. Bend your knees. Drop the head forward. The arms and stand up. Inhaling, exhaling. Good breath. Okay, feet go just a little bit wider to the outside edges of the hips. We'll inhale, arms widen up, lift the knees, lift the belly. Let's grab your right wrist, lift up and over to the left. Push your hips to the right. Now if you want to, you can challenge yourself to come up onto your left toes. You can even lift that left foot all the way off the floor, balancing here. Good breath in. Great breath out. Let's land that foot back to the ground. Push into your feet. Inhale up. Exhale, release your arms down. Three circles of the shoulders, up and back. And then inhale, arms widen up. Grab your left wrist, lift up, and then over to the right. Push your hips to the left. If you're feeling okay with it, you can come up onto your right toes. Or you can even lift that right foot all the way off the ground, balancing fully.
Big breath. Land that right foot to the ground. Push into your feet. Inhale, spine up. Exhale, release your arms down. Three circles of your shoulders up and back. That's it. Okay. So let's take your left arm straight out to the side and turn your thumb down. Bring that arm behind. Grab your wrist with your other hand and slide it around your waist comfortably. So if you can only get your hand here, that's okay. We can, this is where we can stay here. If you can get it around your waist, you can either grab onto your right arm here or you can bring your palms together, whichever one feels right for you. So your spine wants to be up nice and tall, so don't misalign your spine in order to get your hand further around your waist. So keep your spine aligned. Well, inhale, stand up. Exhale, let's drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And deep breaths. So we're getting a nice stretch in the left side of the neck, top of the shoulder, and into the front of the shoulder. If you want a little bit more, you can sway your head forward and backward here while you stay in that side bend with your neck. Just exploring your range of motion there. Taking it as slow as you need to. Solid breaths. Bring your head slowly back to center and releasing the arms. Backstroke shoulder rolls. One at a time rolls back. And then let's extend your right arm out to the side, turn the thumb down, bring the arm behind your back, grab the wrist with the other hand and slide it around your waist comfortably, keeping your spine up nice and tall. Either grab your left arm that's straight or you can bring your palms together. Okay, so we'll stand up tall with the inhale. Let's drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Both shoulders drop down. Solid breath. You can sway your head forward and backward here to explore your range of motion. Opening up the right side of the neck, top of the shoulder into the upper trap, and into the front of the shoulder. Okay, slowly bring the head back up to center and releasing the arms. Let's do backstroke shoulder rolls when you're ready. And relax, let's shake everything out so arms and legs shake out. Good breath. So if you'll find a spot on the wall, so get a cleared spot on the wall or you can use a closed door for your cleared spot too. So we just need a little bit of space here, about two feet wide or so. And you'll need your blocks close by too um, when we're ready for them. Okay, so let's drop your fingertips to the wall. Um, the hands are right in front of the elbows with the elbows close into the body. Get your feet right underneath your hips and parallel. And let's lift up onto the toes. Tailbone down, lower belly in, so align your pelvis and float your spine up tall. Shoulders down, think of collarbones really wide. So you can play around here with taking the fingertips off the wall for a full balance. Or if you're really solid and steady, you can reach your arms up over your head, palms face forward. So whatever is comfortable for you, you've got the wall there if you need it. Deep breath. And then ground your heels and bend your knees. So think of calf stretch. Just spine is comfortable here. Keep your legs parallel with each other. So don't keep your knees in alignment with, the with your, their ankle. The right knee with the right ankle, left knee with the left ankle. Good breath in. Great breath out, and standing up, straightening the leg. Good breath. 
and walk your hands down to about hip level. So this chair railing is a good measurement for me. Walk your feet back to where you can, I call this an L down dog. So we're making like a capital L or a 90 degree angle here. So feet right under the hips, hands right in front of the shoulders. And we pull our hips back away from the wall, creating space in the spine and the shoulders. So we're not pushing a lot of weight into the wall. With our hands, we're pulling away. Keep the hands on the wall, but we pull the hips away. Deep breath. Widen your shoulder blades. Upper back gets wide and flat. Lower belly firms in. Kneecaps lift. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bend your knees and walk forward to stand up. Good breath. Okay, let's bring your left toes almost touching the wall, but not quite. And step your right foot back. And let's land your back heel to the ground. So right toes turn outward slightly, about 15 degrees. And look down at your feet and make sure that they're your hip distance apart still. There's space between your right and left foot, like along your center line here. So we're diving into the calf stretch here. So I like to lean into my forearms here against the wall. Just make sure it's not too much work in the upper body though, okay? So if you need to go here or here, whatever is comfortable there so your shoulders can be down. Now back leg straightens and push that heel into the ground. Neck is comfortable. Deep breaths. So we're just pushing our forearms into the, the wall comfortably to put pressure in the right heel for a nice calf stretch on that right leg. Now if you want to, bend your right knee a little and then straighten it. So we're doing our best not to lift your heel off the ground when you bend your knee. So we're just exploring that movement, it's real subtle. Inhale, bend your right knee. Exhale, straighten your right knee. Try to keep your right heel on the floor as you do so. Okay, now straighten your right knee. Push your heel strong into the floor. And let's relax. So hands come to the wall. Go ahead and step forward. Shake out a little bit if you need to. And then right toes almost touch the wall. Left foot steps back. Ground your back heel to the floor. So your left toes turn out slightly. Front knee is bent. So you can push your forearms into the wall here if it feels better, shoulders down. Or you can have your hands to the wall like this. Straighten your back leg. So we're making a straight line from that back heel all the way up through the top of your head. So it's a calf stretch, that's what we're focusing on right here is in that left calf muscle. Good breaths. Your hips face forward to the wall, your shoulders face forward to the wall. If you want to, you can bend your back knee and then straighten it. Bend your back knee and then straighten it. Try to keep your heel on the floor. So your movement might not be that big and that's okay. We're just exploring your range of motion, and that also affects different calf muscles. So we've got the soleus muscle and the gastroc muscles. When we bend our knee, it affects the soleus muscle. When we straighten the knee, it affects the gastroc muscles. Okay, let's straighten that back leg. Deep breath, push into that back heel. and soften. We'll grab the wall of the fingertips and step forward and shake things out. Go ahead and walk your hands down to hip level. Walk your feet back to be right under the hips. Take your L down dog. So this might be a different experience now that we've stretched our calf muscles out really well. You might feel more freedom in the backs of the legs or even into the low back. Pull your hips back away from the wall. More space in your spine, more space in your shoulders. Keep your neck neutral with the rest of the spine so ears are between your arms. 
Bend your knees, walk forward and stand up. Good breath. So now we bring left toes almost touching the wall, right foot steps back, and then slide it back even further. So this time we're up on the ball of the foot, heel is lifted. Okay, so it's a crescent lunge here. Now we're diving into the lunge of this. So bend your front knee right on top of your ankle. You're in your longest stance that you can get with your legs and our hips face forward and our shoulders face forward to the wall. So we've got the wall there for balance if we need that for our hands or you can bring your hands to your heart or you can even lift your arms up to the sky, palms face inward. Either way, see if you can bend your knee a little bit more, dropping the hips and then straighten that back leg. Tailbone tucks, belly firms, lower belly. Pull your shoulders back a little bit more. Neck is neutral. Good breath. So we're opening the front body on the right side. One more breath. Now drop the hands to the wall again and step your left foot back to meet your right. Adjust your feet so that you can do your L down dog again. A couple of breaths. Just be restful. Bend your knees, walk forward to stand up. Right toes almost touch the wall. Left leg steps back and then slide your foot back even more to a deep crescent lunge. So you're up on the ball of your foot, heel is lifted. Face your hips to face the wall, shoulders to face the wall. Front knee is bent right on top of your ankle. Good form there. Straighten that back leg a little better. Tuck your tailbone firm, your lower belly, shoulders down. You can take the full balance with hands to your heart space, or you can reach your arms up to the sky, palms face inward. Opening up the front of the left side of the body through the hip flexors. Think of a back bend here. Good breath. Maybe bend your front knee a little bit more and straighten that back leg. One more breath. Let's grab the wall, down to hip level. Right foot steps back to meet your left. Adjust your feet to get them under your hips and pull your hips back. Be restful. Some satisfying breaths here. Bend your knees and walk forward to stand up. Good breath in. Great breath out. You're doing it. Okay, let's grab your blocks. We'll take one block with a short edge against the wall and flat on the lowest setting. The other block, we lean it against the other one. So we're using this for a calf, deeper calf stretch here. So we're taking the right foot, front half of the foot is on the, the angled block and the heel is on the ground. So I want you to make note here that if you have a deep angle like this, it's going to be harder to keep your foot on. So if the block tips, you just lower the angle so that your foot can settle on there well. Okay, so we want to keep that grounded. Now, so right foot is on your angled block. Left foot stands where it needs to stand for your comfort. Fingertips to the wall if you like and stand up. So straighten your legs, align your pelvis. Stand up tall, shoulders down. So we've got a deep calf stretch in the right leg. To deepen your pose, we keep the hips straight, hips, the pelvis balanced. You can always move your hips forward to the wall to deepen your pose. We're not sticking our butt out here, then we lose the stretch in the calf muscle. 
Hips stay under your shoulders and you move your hips forward when you need it. Left foot can move where it needs to. Try to soften your right toes. Melt it against the block. You can always explore the different calf muscles by bending your right knee a little and then straightening it, bending it, and straightening it. You can find if bending your right knee, it's a real subtle bend. If that's a deeper stretch for you, you can hold that for a bit. Or if straightening your right knee is a better stretch for you, then hold that stretch. So you find what stretch you need and hold that as you breathe. Okay, one more breath. And let's release off of that block, shake things out. Let's go ahead and do the other side. So left foot, front half of the foot is on the block. Left heel is on the floor. Right foot stands where it needs to and then stand up strong and tall. So straighten your leg. Keep the hips balanced and underneath your shoulders. Breathe deep. Your Ujjayi breath or your basic yoga breath. When you need more of a stretch, you move your hips closer to the wall. Just soften your eyes. You can explore what you need on this leg. You can bend that left knee a little. See if that's a better stretch for you or straighten the knee. What's the better stretch? Maybe you need both. Hang out in one place for a few breaths and then you can switch it up if you need to. This can create so much freedom, stretching our calves really deeply like this. Um, down into the feet. It can really help your feet if you have like plantar fasciitis symptoms um, or a tight hamstrings. This can be really helpful or even low back tightness or pain. This can be really helpful for all of that because everything's connected. Stand up a little taller. Move your hips forward if you like. Let's take one more breath. And then slowly release, shake things out a little bit. Ah, oh, that feels good. Okay, move those out of the way. Let's take a, a deep arm line stretch here for the chest and the shoulder and the arm. So let's stand with your left hand against the wall, standing sideways, and get your feet right underneath your hips. Shoulders down, we'll inhale. Exhale, you'll pivot to the right with your toes, your hips, and your heart. So your heart moves away from your left hand that's on the wall. Both shoulders drop down. Now, if your arm starts to get numb or tingly, then you either don't turn as deep or you can drop your hand down. Or if your wrist doesn't like this place, you can straighten your wrist out and put your flat fist on the wall. You take care of yourself that way. So shoulders are down. Think of pulling your left shoulder blade down your back. And when you do that, that creates more space around your collarbone. So we don't want to let our shoulder collapse forward here. We want to pull the shoulder back and really open up the chest and open up the brachial plexus here. Make space. This really gets closed down if when we're on computers a lot. So this is a really important stretch if you're a computer whiz. A computer whiz. Deep breath in. Make, check in with your neck that it's comfortable. We're not jutting forward. We're not clenching up. Soften things up in your jaw and your neck and bring it to alignment. Let's take another breath. 
And then slowly release. When you're ready to move, shake things out. Let's do the other side. So right hand against the wall, feet underneath your body, you're standing sideways. And let's pivot to the left with your toes, your hips, and your heart. So your heart is moving away from your right hand. Both shoulders drop down and align your neck. Deep breaths. Pull that right shoulder blade down your back a little bit more to open up the collarbone on that side. Let's do one more breath. And slowly releasing. Okay, shake things out when you're ready. Y'all did such an awesome job. It's time to rest now. So let's put your legs up the wall if that would feel good. You can put your legs up in a chair or if you need to just lay flat on your back into full corpse pose, you'll do that. So to bring your legs up the wall, usually it's easiest if you sit sideways against the wall. So your shoulder and your hip are touching. And then you lean back into your hands. As you lay down, you swing your legs up. Now elbows push into the floor the wall. Elbows down, lift your hips and scoot forward to get your hips close. Get it? Come to This is not And here we're one. So just putting your legs up in a chair instead, keeping your knees bent at 90 degrees. So straighten your legs as best you can. If your legs to sleep or get tingly your knee. Okay, so the hands are Allowing your body to get
Keep your legs up the wall for at least seven minutes. Wiggle fingers and toes. You can hug your knees into your chest, letting your legs drop off to one side, and stacking your hips and your shoulders. Please support your head with something. A couple of breaths here. We want to um, come out of that place slowly because um, we've got the fluids of our body need to acclimate and rebalance. If you get up from that place really quickly, it can you can get dizzy or lightheaded. When you are ready, your top hand pushes into the ground in front of you to sit up. You can sit up against the wall if you like. Just come up into a comfortable seated position. Some solid, satisfying breath. Gathering your palms together at your heart. Touch this beautiful heart of yours. And thank you for sharing it with the world around you. Uh, you're so special. So thank you for joining me today. I'm so honored as always. Thanks for showing up for yourself again. Namaste.